turn on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for thank you i must say the truth the obidati wave almost consumed politicians in the southeast abaribe confesses now the senator from Abia State, who is a former PDP member, Senator Engineer Baribe, who contested under the platform of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, ABGA, has confessed that he was lucky to survive the obidati wave in Southeast by winning his senatorial seat. Speaking with Newsband, Abaribe said the wave of P2B almost consumed politicians from Southeast extraction. Of course, they didn't believe that P2B will get the, the massive support of the Southeast people. Judging from the fact that Obi joined a less, a less popular political party a few months to the election. So, Abrebe said in his words, it was a nice election. It was going normally until we saw the Obidati wave in the Southeast and it almost consumed everybody. He showed me the love my people have for me because I was able to survive that wave. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been here today. That Senator Enyinabari was speaking when he was collecting or receiving his uh, certificate of return from the Independent National Electoral Commission. Yes. And so that is what actually happened. They never believed that it would be so. So indeed, it was a tsunami in terms of politics. For the region, it was tsunami that swept across the entire southeastern states. Yes, all the southeastern states. We have states like Delta, uh, Rivers, Akwaibom, even Niger Delta, the entire Niger Delta states. Edo, it swept across. Only that the Independent National Electoral Commission (ANEC) compromised the electoral process. That's the electronic transmission of results never worked as planned. Otherwise, almost the entire Nigeria data states will witness the same tsunami that was witnessed in the Southeast. Yes, they allow the Southeast because they know that they will not do anything there. Yes, the APC that we are manipulating the process or the election, the, uh, the figures, they didn't do much in the Southeast. Yes, because they know that it is the zone of P2B. And uh, so they were playing, you know, with caution, in, 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 you know, to a reasonable extent. Yes. So they apply caution to a reasonable extent. And so it swept across the entire North Central states of Benue, Taraba, Nasrawa, Plateau. This will be tsunami. So it's not only in the Southeast. So by Southeast, you know, we have said it, the manipulators of the figures, the APC hired, they didn't do much in the South East zone because that is the zone of, of the of P2B rights. So what they did was, you know, fierce, uh, you know, approach to the election suppression. You know, where election was not held, they, they, put, they put all figures like in Imo State. The governor, APC governor in Imo State was doing that, putting up figures where election did not hold to get up to 66,000 for the APC in Ebony, you saw it. Omai was out like a, 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 a mafian. Okay, that man is a maf. It's a maf. The man was out there to derive the electoral process, to manipulate figures, to intimidate people, harass, and to make sure that he delivered his APC in the transnational district of Ebony State. So that is there. But aside that, you see, in Enugu State, the thing swept across. Almost all the seven or eight federal constituencies in the Enugu state, we are won by the Labour Party. The same thing with the senator, senatorial district. Okay? So you go to Adambra State, apart from YPP, okay, if I know back, all the senatorial district positions was won by the Labour Party. Almost all the the House of Representatives or the Federal House seats in Anamba State was won by the Labour Party. If you go to Abia, the same thing. So if you come to him, almost the same thing. So the OB movement swept across. They undermined him. All right, those in the PDP and the APC, the evil parties that have destroyed Nigeria, they 
have they, they undermine P2P. The political leaders from the South East in these political parties we mentioned, they never believed in OP. They never believed in their own brother. They never believed in his capacity. Having seen that this man is competent, that is when we have seen that these people are evil men indeed. Yes, they never supported Biafra. They never supported Mazin Abdekano. Okay, you were in politics. You believed in politics. Now your own brother has come out to Ovia. And you have seen the whole Nigeria queue behind him. And you have seen the capacity. You have seen that this man is competent. That's why every Nigerian, like the youths who holds the future of this country, they are behind him. Yet, you sabotage him. Yet, you criticize him unfairly. Yet, you go around to, you know, to make sure that he, he doesn't win the election. And so, that is what we have seen in the election. We have said that the day of reckoning will come and we will mention the names of those who did what they did in that election. In as much as we are not interested in that challenge they conducted, but we said, yes, if you are in politics, you say you're in politics, you are not interested in Biafra referendum, you're not interested in the freedom of Biafrans, then you must have seen the wave of P2P. Then you must have seen the competency of P2P. Then you must have seen the capacity of P2P. Then you must have seen that this man is from the Southeast, and the Southeast has been marginalized. You have seen that other regions have said, look, the youths of other regions have said, look, forget about this paparazzi. The youths have seen capacity in P2P, competency. So irrespective of the zone where it's coming from, but coming to take a fit, you are a man. You have seen how you have suffered in this country. You have seen how the man have suffered. All right? marginalization, exclusion since 1970 after the civil war and you have seen an Igbo man who you know is close to presidency to that point and you are sabotaging him. We have seen them all these politicians in PDP and APC, the day of record is coming for you. So for those who survived, those who did not survive, sorry, you have been you know cast into the dustbin of political history because nowhere for you again. Yes, go there, you see them, they had your hands in Imo. Okay? The Uche Kuni first. The Soludo is the governor of Anamba of State today, but he's seen it hot. Yes, if you go to Enugu State, you see them. The Uguanis. Yes, they are there. Even the Chimaroke, that his own his own senatorial district, the Liberal Party candidates, was killed, was murdered, set ablaze with his team that were returning from a political campaign in the rural area to the city. You see, so the election has been shifted. Okay? So, even in that senatorial district, it will consume him too. It will consume Namani as well. They will be, they will be castigated or they will be cast into those been of political history. Yes, that's it. So, the wave is, it was tsunami, it swept across southeast, Nigeria states and not not central states, though the APC manipulated figures. But in the south east, it did you know, a lot of damage to old fools, the this uh, old or political you know figures. These uh, political dynasty they have created in the APC and the PDP. 